Dr. Mori, Uncivilized Vitality book recommendation list um, for this week or twice a week or whenever we're doing them. So this week's book is going to be The Portable Young, uh, the Penguin Book Edition from 1976, edited by Joseph Campbell. Joseph Campbell, uh, a lot of books of his I'll be recommending soon. He's uh, the hero with a thousand faces, the the tales of, uh, he, he's an expert in myth and mythology and legend and uh, the different types of stories. Uh, he was a student uh, and friend of Dr. Young. Uh, Carl Jung is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I guess I'm a, a Jungian. I'm a big fan of Dr. Young. And The Portable Young is a good introductory work. Um, if we go on the back here, I'll read you what's on the back cover. If introversion and extroversion are standard words in most people's vocabularies, if we now recognize a link between the contents of the individual psyche and the archetypal themes of myth and religion, if psychology has evolved into a genuine philosophy whose function is not only to cure mental illness but to help find meaning in daily life, much of that credit belongs to Carl Gustav Jung. Uh, you really can't understate uh, the impact of Carl Jung on um, shaping a lot of what we, we understand and know about the human psyche and the unconscious today, and the uncivilized vitality. It, one of the prime sources of the uncivilized vitality uh, method of uh, health and happiness optimization for me is obviously uh, Stoicism and um, Zen Buddhism and um, Jungian individuation. Uh, those would be kind of the three big ones. Beyond just my own... Um, experiences with uh, martial arts and uh, uh, Asperger's and then being out in the woods. So it'd be one of the one of the big um, influences of the uncivilized vitality method would be Dr. Young. Uh, further from the back, this comprehensive collection of writings by the epic shaping Swiss psychoanalyst was edited by Joseph Campbell, himself the most famous of Young's American followers. It comprises Jung's pioneering studies of the structure of the psyche, including the works that introduce such notions as the collective unconscious, the shadow, anima and animus, which are male and female energy, uh, as well as the inquiries into the psychology of spirituality and creativity, <clears throat> and Jung's influential on synchronicity, which is a paper uh, whose implications extends from the, uh, the I Ching to quantum physics. Campbell's introduction completes this compact volume, placing Jung's astonishingly wide-ranging ouvre in, within the context of his life and times. So this is a great introduction to Carl Jung's works. I mean, he's written, I believe, over 40 uh, different books. Um, this is a great one if you want to understand more about things you've probably heard. Introversion and extra. So, oh, he's an introvert, or so-and-so is an extrovert. You know, they have kind of a... He, so-and-so has sort of a feminine energy or, or an anima to them. Um, the collective unconscious and making peace with your, uh, your shadow, uh, the, the, the syzygy. All the Carl Jung psychoanalytic techniques are in there. The collective unconscious. Uh, he was a big uh, proponent of the fact that the unconscious communicates with our conscious minds through the use of uh, symbols. So a lot of dream interpretation, a lot of mythology and religious uh, iconology and symbology uh, interpretation. So a lot of great things in here. Can't say enough about uh, Carl Jung. Not necessarily a real straightforward read. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna have to kind of work at it. It's not written for the general layperson, but it's 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 definitely worth getting into. And the average well-read adult could get through this. So this is um, this week's recommendation. The Portable Young um, combines the best of most of his his collected works. So you, I don't have to recommend all 40 volumes of Dr. Young. You can just start with this. So um, get on that one, enjoy it, and then next week I'll give you another uh, book to check out.